Hey everyone, I am Ms. Hu, your physics teacher. In this video, I'm going to show you the basic understanding of how to do the experiment for reflection with a mirror and using optical pins. For this experiment, you're going to need four optical pins, a protractor, a ruler, a plain mirror, a foam board, a piece of paper, and of course, a pencil. So first of all, with the blank piece of paper, we're going to draw a straight line using the ruler and a pencil. And this would be where we would place the plane mirror. Next, we're going to make a marking in the middle. So this would be our reference point. And using the protractor, what we will do next is we will measure out the 90 degree point for our normal line and we will measure out our incident angle. So say for example in this practical we're going to take an incident angle of 30 degrees. So that's 30 degrees measured from the normal line so that goes up to this point. And we will use the ruler now to draw the normal line so the normal line will connect these two points. I'll label here normal. And we will connect these two points, which will be the incident ray. So little arrow here to indicate this is the incident ray. This angle here is our incident angle, which is 30 degrees. Next, with the foam board, we're going to place the foam board underneath the paper. We'll take two pins and we'll place the pins on the incident ray. And the further away the pins are, the better. Try to put them at least five centimeters apart. So I'm gonna place the pins one here and one really close to where the mirror would be. So the purpose of the foam board is so that we can place the pins in and the pins would stay upright. Now we're going to take the mirror and we're going to place the mirror on the line that we have drawn. What we're going to do next is we're going to be observing the image of these pins from this angle and we're going to try to put two more pins in line with the images formed by the mirror of the original two pins. Now in order to do that, we can't look at it from the top view. You actually have to place your eye line over here. So this is the perspective of the mirror from the edge over here, as you can see. You can even see me holding my camera in a mirror here. Right. So when I move the camera around, you can see that the position of the images and the original pins are shifting. So we're gonna place our eye line in such a way that the reflection of the pins are in one line. So as you can see, I'm moving this around. Place your eye line until the images of the pins are in one line. So as you can see, this is the original pin. This is the original pin. In the mirror, those are the images of the pins formed. So remember that in physics, the term images is used, where in everyday language, we use the word reflection. So with these two pins, I'm going to place them here for easy access. So shift our eyes until we get the images to be in exactly one line. And now we're going to place these two pins in such a way that they are in the same line as the images. Second pin, whoops, here, in the same line. And if you look at it from the top view, this would be kind of like where the pins would be. Next step now, let's remove the mirrors as well as the pins. 
And if you take a closer look, you can see the holes formed by the pins that we had poked into the paper just now. So using our ruler and our pencil, we're going to connect these two holes in one line. And using the protractor, so if you look at the angle, you can see that the angle is also 30 degrees, just the same as the incident angle. And that's how we conduct the experiment for reflection with optical pins. I hope you found this video educational and helpful. Don't forget to click like and subscribe with notifications on so that you can get more updates on videos from Ms. Ho about how to conduct experiments in the physics lab. Thanks for watching.